Governor Eric Holcomb is laying out his agenda for 2022. State House reporter Kristen Escow was there for his announcement today. She joins us live down at the State House with more on the governor's goals for this year. Kristen. Zach and Birichelle, the governor discussing several issues this afternoon, including education, tax policy, cybersecurity. He says a big focus for him this year is economic development, and he laid out several initiatives in that area. Now, one of those initiatives that he's proposing is eliminating the 30% business personal property tax floor on new equipment. Now, I asked him whether he'd be willing to consider other tax cuts, as we've seen some Republican lawmakers discuss. He says he would, but he wants to see the impact those would have first. Today, the governor also talked about his focus on education and trying to ensure children are better prepared to start kindergarten. He says public health is also a big focus for him, and he wants to strengthen guidelines for childhood lead screening and look at ways to reduce infant mortality. Now, the governor also highlighted his focus on cybersecurity, talking about he wants the state to help local governments strengthen their cybersecurity. Now, I also asked the governor about the state's 20 2021 budget surplus and how he'd like to see the state spend that money. He focused on one way he says he wants to do that is by focusing on ways to bring more workers to Indiana and help Indiana businesses find those workers. We also know that um, just like every business out there, having talent is paramount to your success. I want to make sure that we're able to retain and recruit the best talent to state government. This is going to require an investment as well in 2023. Now, Governor Holcomb says he does not want to spend any of that surplus until the budget is rewritten in 2023. He also outlined some efforts regarding law enforcement, including expanding the state's law enforcement training board to include more members of the public. Now, Holcomb did not want to comment further on bills that have already been introduced this session here at the State House. He says he wants to read those bills first before sharing his opinion. Now, later tonight at 10, we'll have more reaction to the governor's agenda today from state lawmakers to see how they, fi they feel about the priorities he laid out today. For now, we're live at the State House. Kristen Escal, Fox 59 News.